Good morning. Welcome back. Today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Wednesday, February 21st. I am your host, Tanya Gardier mcleod of your daily hot sheets for right here in Roswell, Georgia. And we're going to start, as always, looking at what the mortgage rates have been doing. And remember, you can always get there from my website. It's theperfectspot.com. And then scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the most recent blogs, or you can do forward slash blogs, and then you'll see um, the one that has, we're looking for this, which is the today's daily mortgage rates and it's updated daily. So it's an interactive graph. And here we see that our 30 year fix came down slightly from yesterday. We're now at 7.11. Our 15 year fixed is at 6.52 and our FHA 30 year is coming in at 6.62. And then our jumbo uh, is at 7.38. I can do it a five one arm for 6.8. And then our VA 30 year is coming in at 6.63. And remember, there's always a link here to go over to the mortgage calculator and plug in the rate of 7.11 and see what your uh, monthly mortgage might look like. Now, let's go over here and see the daily hot sheet. We're going to look at basically we've had in the last 24 hours, we've had four new listings. And this is just in Roswell, Georgia. So I want you to understand so both of our zip codes, both East Cobb and um, Fulton, that makes up this part of Roswell. Um, we've had one price decrease, one price increase, two pending, two closed, one expired, one or two are actively under contract, meaning again, they're waiting to go through their due diligence and their inspection period. And once that's all passed, then it turns to hard pending. And then we've got two that are coming soon. So let's start with our coming soon. We've got one in Wild. Oh, that's another one. One just came live. Okay. Eden Wild for 979. There's another one for about 800, I believe. Uh, Martin's Landing for 800. Let's just check these two out. Okay. Let me scroll up here for you. Summer Shade Lane in Eden Wild. Uh, reminder that that's Milton, Elkins, and Sweet Apple for the schools. This one is about 3,500 square feet on the main two levels with another 1,200, almost 1,300 in the basement. Five bedrooms, three baths up, half bath on the main, and then two bedrooms and a full bath in the basement. Give you an idea of what is coming to the market. Is that three car garage? Let me look. Looks like a two bay in one. Is that a three car? Hmm, we don't have that very often. I'll double check that in the description. Nice two-story foyer, hardwood floors in the foyer, but here we've got carpet in the formal. Uh, dining room does have some hardwoods as well as the family room open to the kitchen and the eat-in area. That's a nice flow, nice layout. Okay. Upstairs, that master's upstairs, bathrooms, okay, Let's see if there's anything at the backyard, the basement, oh nice basement, really cool, great job in the basement, got a workshop, an extra storage area, a fire pit, that's nice, okay, nice backyard, that is the one for $9.79. And then here's one in Martin's Landing that's going to be 800. They've also got a fire pit. So it's Esther Jackson, Holcomb Bridge, and Centennial High School. This one is 2,600 plus on the main main two levels, and then another another almost 1,200, 1,181 in the basement. Four bedrooms, two baths up. Martin's Landing is known for that lake and the swim tennis area. Very lovely park area. Definitely that outdoor feel. So we don't have any pictures of the interior. So we're still waiting to see what it looks like, but it's got another bed and bath in the basement. So those are our coming soon. And let me just go over here for the hot sheet for the last 24 hours here to Roswell. And if you want a copy of this hot sheet, let me know and I'd be happy to uh, get this over to you. So we've got um, an active one that I was saying in Eden Wild for 800, it just came active. Uh, Parkside on Elderberry for 1.375. Shalliford Road, we've got one for 3.995. And then we have one on North Pond Trail over in Martin's Landing for 395000 um, And then the other one is Boulder Way, the estates at River Birch for 950000 We did have some that went hard pending. The one for um, 2.199 that's in Roswell Farms in the back part, the preserve where they've got all of those newer homes, which are beautiful. We've got a friend that lives back there. They're gorgeous. Um, 
Also went pending is Parkside uh, for 740, uh, 724.9. Um, these are ones, again, that have gone through the due diligence period and the inspection. They've worked everything through and they're just waiting for closing day now and maybe financing. Meadow Oaks for 750. Uh, Roswell Court on Forest Street for 800. Those are townhomes. Uh, Barnes Mill expired. Um, I think that expired and withdrew. We'll have to take a look at that, see if they came back up somewhere. Um, and then we have uh, the orchards did go under contract for 540, or that's the list price when it went under contract. Same with Primrose and Crabapple. It was uh, 550 when it went under contract, waiting through their due diligence. And then here's the two coming soon. So I'll just flip through here real quick and let you see after seeing the seven, the 979 that just is coming soon in uh uh, Eden Wild, here you can see the 800,000 for, it's a five bedroom, four bath, I believe there is a basement, let me see, it is, but it is unfinished, okay, so for almost 200,000 less than the one that's about to come on the market, nice level lot, I think we've looked at this before when it was coming soon, so now that it's live, it's been, you know, updated, nice backyard, Bathrooms have not really been updated. Looks like the laundry is up, which is always a nice feature. And the unfinished basement. Okay, a great backyard. This is some great space. I think for the price, this is a great, a great deal. Edelberry. This one is in Parkside and it's considered Vickery Mill, Crabapple, and Roswell High School. 3,000 on the main level. Kind of a newer area uh, built in 2015. Uh, it does have a bed and bath in the basement, one on the main and a full bath, and then three up and three baths. Nice pool. Oh, Kitty made the picture. Did you see that? Here's the kitty cat. I used to have one that looked just like that. We called him Cheeto. Um, nice master with a, I love that they have a separate room in the master that makes sense to have your office there. I really like that and it's separate. Okay. Kind of an open floor plan. Everything is there and open. Nice kitchen island. Very nice. Okay. Pretty. And that's for a million three seventy five. Shelliford Road. This is our almost four million. This is just, you know, a massive property. It's spectacular. And this is gorgeous. You can imagine. I said that closet. Jeez. Indoor pool, indoor basketball court, could also be racquetball. Another bar area, movie room. I mean, that's just to give you an idea of the wings. And, you know, you could make this a family compound. Really uh, a lovely property. Uh, Martin's Landing. So here's the one that's on North Pond Trail. Uh, 395. It is a drive under with a one car garage there. Uh, three bedrooms, two baths with a one bedroom in the half bath in the basement area. But you can't really find many homes for 400000 and less. So this is a nice opportunity could be a great investment property great first time buyer home uh, and you've got a swim tennis in the neighborhood you know that park the lake all of that that martin's landing brings to the table here's one on boulder way this is considered the estates over at river birch um it's roswell north crabapple and roswell high school it says 5680 for square feet i don't know if this has a basement it does finished so i'm not sure if they're wrapping this into the basement square footage that's part of the problem with the way they do uh square footage in georgia they allowed the real estate agents to start reporting it a few years ago and as soon as we did everybody does it differently and there's no consistency and so we never know if they're wrapping the basement square footage into the total that they're counting or if it's the main two levels which throws everybody's numbers off you can't really do a true comparison until you dig a lot deeper. So this um, lovely home could use some updates, um, but very nice, very nice home, basement. Okay, that's offered for 950. Um, here's the one I was telling you about that's in the back of the Roswell Farms in the uh, historic area. These are beautiful, beautiful homes. All brand new construction, really high end, it's spectacular, very well done.
beautiful. Okay, and this is 2.199 and it is pending. And Parkside. This one is at 724.9. It's a townhome. Uh, Rivers Eve on the other side, Centennial is 2759 square feet. A lovely townhome. Beautiful. Okay. And that's uh, new construction 2022, just two years young. And here's the other one that it closed. So this one was listed at 750 and closed at 750. And it took 15 days to get under contract. And um, if there anything else, so for 100%. So let's just see, this is a three, two and a half Mountain Park Elementary. There's no basement, right? So it does have a detached garage there, but everything has been renovated and it's gorgeous. The detached garage, right? So you, okay. So that one is a 1975 home that they completely gutted and renovated and it's uh, sold for 750. And then here's one on Forest Street. This is considered Vickery Mill for the elementary and then Crabapple and Roswell. These townhomes are really, really cute over there on Forest Street. Um, this one closed at 800 and it listed for 800 and it took them three days to get it under contract. Whoops. Got a nice floor plan there. I can see the covered front porch and the bedrooms, open floor plan. Quite bright for a townhome that's a center unit too. So that's nice to see that you still get lots of light as a center unit. That's what you normally worry about, but very lovely. Okay. Those are built in 2017. Uh, this one expired on Barnes Mill, but they've, I know they've relisted it and they expired and this one kind of goes back. That's what they do with new construction. Okay, here's the one un under contract for uh, Village Green, which is the orchards over here at Roswell, which is across from our um, Target. And that is off of 92, basically. It's Mountain Park Elementary, Crabapple and Roswell. Not that these folks normally even care about schools because they are um, normally 55 and older and it's school age kids are not in the house for most of these folks. Um, but really nice. Uh, these are all very similar floor plans and very typical for the finishes uh, under contract at the list price of 540. And print, and I think, let me go back to that one because that one was on and off the market. So let's see how long it took total. It only took eight days. And if I go back here, I want to say it was on and off the con on, under contract. Uh, maybe I'm mixing it up with another one because it doesn't look like it... Um, did have a off the market day, so we should be good. Primrose, um, under contract with the list price of 550. Sweet Apple is the elementary, uh, Elkins and then Milton High School. It's got three bedrooms, one bath up, one, one and a half on the main. I think there is no basement. And this one took 55 days to get under contract. Slab, nice home, cute, okay. Not sure what kept it from getting 50, you know, so many days till closing. It's longer than the average. And that is it, folks. So we've already seen these others coming soon. So if there's anything at all that I can do, any questions I can answer, um, please reach out. Let me know if you'd like to have a hot sheet like this saved for you and emailed to you um, daily, once a week, you know, once a month. I'll be happy to set that up for you. Just reach out and let me know if you have questions about the market and what's going on reach out. I'm your girl. I'm going to have a really amazing house coming on the market also um, here in the Mountain Park Elementary School District. And uh, it's in a great small neighborhood. They have a private pool. They have really done a bang up job on the renovation in the um, on the main level. They opened up the kitchen to the family room, which was very, very compartmentalized and separated. And they really opened it up instead of having just a walkway. It is all open. And, um, you know, you've got the waterfall marble. I mean, they've just done some beautiful things in the, in the, um, kitchen. So it's going to be a beautiful home. It'll be under a million. We're working on the pricing, maybe around 900, um, but it'll be gorgeous. So reach out to me if you know somebody that's looking in this area for a beautiful home. All right. That's it for today and hope to see you again tomorrow.